So here we have another quadratic we're going to solve using the quadratic formula. 9x squared equals negative 12x plus 1. I'm going to add 12x to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. My a is 9, my b is 12, and my c number is negative 1. Plugging into the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared, 12 squared is 144, minus 4 times a times c, the a number is 9, the c number is negative 1, all over 2a, 2 times 9 is 18, and now we'll work on simplifying what's inside the radical. Negative 12 plus or minus 4 times 9 is 36. 36 times negative 1 is negative 36. 144 minus a negative 36 is the same thing as 144 plus 36, which simplifies to 180. Now 180, there we're looking for the largest perfect square in the factors of 180. So let's just focus on 180 for a little bit. I can break that down lots of ways. 3 times 60, 2 times 90, um, lots of ways. We want one of the terms to be the largest perfect square as possible. It turns out 36 is. 36 is a perfect square. If I take 36 times 5, I will get 180. Notice I can take the square root of 36, but not the square root of 5. So applying that, let's rewrite our answer, negative 12 plus or minus square root 36 times 5. Still over 18. Now, let's go ahead and simplify. The square root of 36 is 6, so I will write this plus 6 radical 5. Still over 18. I do need to simplify. Notice that I have a 12, a 6, and an 18. Each of those is divisible by 6. So essentially I can factor out a 6 from the numerator and a 6 from the denominator. Let's see what happens when I do that. I'm left with negative 2 plus or minus square root of 5. On the bottom I have 6 times 3. The 6 on the top will cancel with the 6 on the 3 leaving us a final answer of negative 2 plus or minus square root of 5 all over 3. Keep in mind this is two answers. Negative 2 plus radical 5 and negative 2 minus radical 5 all over 3.